Welcome to If Numbers Could Talk, episode 51. D-Rose, 2010, 2011, MVP. That is the title for this episode. Derrick Rose, the 2010, 2011 MVP year. That will be the topic of today's episode, episode 51 of If Numbers Could Talk. Now, to start this off, let's note two things. Derrick Rose is the second Chicago Bull in all of NBA history, only the second Bull to become the NBA Rookie of the Year. No, I'm joking. That's not what we're talking about. To become the NBA MVP. And Derrick Rose, to date, is the youngest NBA MVP ever. Now, let's talk about some things. Oh, look how that turned out. Not quite how I planned it. <laughs> but hey, here we are. What's going on, guys? So, Derrick Rose currently plays for the New York Knicks. He played 26 games this season. However, he is currently out for the next eight weeks. Or I want to say at this point it would be around four weeks remaining, uh, maybe three but he was out for eight weeks due to ankle surgery. I don't think he's expected to come back at any point and make any real splashes or uh, change anything for them this year, but they are having a good, decent season, the New York Knicks. Before the surgery, Derrick Rose averaged 12 points, three rebounds, four assists with 0.8 steals and 0.5 blocks. Derrick Rose is still a pretty formidable player. He is still a, the guy that you have to keep an eye out for. He's really good at getting the rest of his teammates involved. He is a point guard, point guard at this point. Uh, however, when Derrick Rose first came to us, to the NBA at least, not to us, but when he first came to the NBA, um, he was more of a hybrid type of a player, not necessarily because he was an elite shooter, but he was an elite scorer. And with that being said, let's journey down through the numbers, through the road that is the career of Derrick Rose. Now, Derrick Rose, for his career, for his career, Derrick Rose has averaged 18.2 points, 3.3 rebounds, 5.4 assists, 0.8 steals, and 0.3 blocks. His awards are to the tune of three All-Star Games, the 2008-2009 Rookie of the Year Award. He was also on the 2008-2009 All-Rookie Team, the 2010-2011 All-NBA Team, and, of course, what we are here to discuss, the 2010-2011 NBA MVP for Derrick Rose. During the 2010-2011 season, Derrick Rose averaged 25 points, 4.1 rebounds, 7.7 7 assists, 1 steal, 0. 0.6 blocks with 3.4 turnovers and 1.7 personal fouls per game. During that season, Derrick Rose had 81 starts. The Chicago Bulls in the 2010-2011 regular season went 62-19. and Derrick Rose that season had one triple-double and 23 double-doubles. Now, again, we're here really just to break down what that season looked like, not really to go through each uh, the the playoffs and the ups and downs and all of that, not even to go through each game. But what did it look like? Like if we had to break it down into like, well, if you had this type of a game, what would the outcome be? I'd say we have a little bit here at least to break down for you. Just some information to give you, right? So let's start with minutes. In the 2010-2011 season, how many times did Derrick Rose play 40 minutes or more? Well, with 16 games, he played 40 minutes or more. There were 59 games that Derrick Rose played 30 to 39 minutes and only six games where he played less than 29 minutes in that season. 
As far as points, there were only two games where Derrick Rose had 40 or more. 21 games where he had 30 or more. 39 games at 20 or more. 18 games between 10 and 19. And only one game did Derrick Rose only score six points or less than 10 points. But it was six. That was the number. Um, One game for the 2010-2011 season. There were four games where he had 10 or more rebounds. 25 games he had between five and nine rebounds. And there were uh, 52 games, 52 games where he had four rebounds or less for Derrick Rose. Remembering remembering that in this season, he averaged 4.1 rebounds. As far as assists, Only once did Derrick Rose have between 15 and 19 assists. On 20 separate occasions, however, he had at least 10, but less than 19 assists, excuse me, less than 14 assists. 47 different games, he had five to nine assists. During this time, remember, he was averaging 7.7 assists. And only 13 games in that season did Derrick Rose have less than four assists. Steals. There were two different games where Derrick Rose stole five or more balls from the other team. So he had five or more steals in two different games. Six games where he had three to four steals. 41 games where he had one or two steals. And 32 games where he had no steals at all. For Derrick Rose, there were also five games where he had three or more blocks. 30 games with only one or two blocks and 46 games in the 2010 2011 season where he had zero blocks at all. Derrick Rose also fouled out twice in the 2010 2011 season. The majority of the time, he only had one or two fouls coming up to 48 games with one or two fouls. 16 games with three or four fouls in the other 15 games that he played. He did not foul at all. Derrick Rose played a total of 81 games, 81 games. He only set out one game versus the Denver Nuggets in the 2010-2011 season. All of that snowballed and rolled into an MVP season when it all came down to it. And you ask yourself, what made this so iconic? Well, the numbers were great. But the eye test, I mean, if you saw this Derrick Rose, I mean, if you saw the 26 games, well, wait, wait, I want to say that was a little more than 26 games. He played 26 games this season. However, if you saw uh, Derrick Rose play the season he blew his knee, you would understand. If you saw Derrick Rose play his rookie season where he also played 81 games, you would understand. The first four or five years, three or four years of Derrick Rose were much different than the last eight, the last six. I, I don't have the exact number. I don't. Uh, I realize I'm kind of ballparking it there. Um, I want to say he's played 14 seasons, though, so that should be about right. And um, these numbers show you a great player, a guy who really showed up, did his thing, a great season they had, a great team the Chicago Bulls had. They literally... <laughs> they were like one mind sound body. Um, however, the eye test, if you were to see that team and you were to see how Derrick Rose was able to thrive in that system that year, everything I just gave you as far as how many minutes, how many points, which games, uh, it makes sense. It makes sense that that team, <laughs> 62 and 19, 62 and 19. That is an incredible season in for any team. Uh, less knowing a team in the Eastern Conference at that time. Uh, there were so many different teams that were really on the rise, different guards. Uh, Russell Westbrook, Steph Curry, everybody had just got into the league along with Derrick Rose, and he was leading the pack. Uh, he was definitely leading the pack. I want to say he was the first of all of them to get an MVP. Now, that wasn't a part of my research, so I'm going to say I want to say. But I will say overall that watching that season was amazing. It was fun. It was great. But 
the numbers here, it, it's it's incredible when you realize that some people will have comparisons and arguments about things, but they really haven't taken the time to do anything but go through their memory. You take your memory, you take some highlights, you go through, I mean, hey, we have the internet nowadays, right? As well as shout out to basketballreference.com because they always have, I mean, if I if I can't find it on NBA or uh, just Googling it in general, I definitely can get over to basketball reference. Um, <laughs> sometimes I'll end up using a lot of their information uh, compiled with some of the other things just to cross reference, make sure that, uh, you know, not just did though everyone on these different committees or working for these different companies do their work, but I have to do my work to ensure that I'm not just giving you one side of it. Um, sometimes we're wrong. <laughs> and it's just great to be able to look at these numbers, compare them with uh, uh, the highlight films, uh, compare that with, uh, we can even date back and go back and see what were the analysts saying at that time. And it all, adds up. It all corroborates. They all say the same thing. This was an iconic, great MVP run for Derrick Rose. Um, it goes down in history. And um, we were all glad to see him come back and still be able to have a, a consummate, consistent career. But this, the youngest MVP to ever grace the NBA was Derrick Rose. And this was the uh, numbers that gave us, that graced us, that uh, uh, blessed us, if I, if you may, with the youngest MVP to ever play in the NBA, and that was Derrick Rose in his 2010-2011 campaign. So yeah, that was that episode, and I appreciate you guys for tuning in. I appreciate you for showing up all the time, listening to these things, and me run through all of the numbers of different players and different things depending on what it is we're covering in that episode this is episode 51 derrick rose 2010 2011 mvp year thanks a lot guys have a great one and bear with me because i haven't figured this part out yet <laughs>